I like to connect with people. I like to show things and connect and talk and discuss. That's what I think makes my channel a little different than some other channels. I don't just pop a clip out there, turn a the camera on, do a movement and turn a camera off and then upload a video on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok and this, that and the other. And it's just like quick little videos of people going and then it's done. You don't connect with nobody. I like connecting. I want to know people. You know, like if I ran into you in real life, I want you to feel like you know me. And that's what I want this community to be about, is connection, getting to know people, being there for one another, being friends, okay? That's what we need out there. We need more connection, more friends, more people inspiring us. Uh, just like John at Matt Bean uh, Scottish Fitness, uh, he inspires me. I like watching him do his thing and uh, yeah, it's good. It's good to watch other people that are positive. Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to a new episode from the Body Beatdown. Today we are going to be beating the back down. Uh, today is basically going to comprise of two rowing movements. The same movement, but different bars. We're going to start with the typical straight Olympic bar. And then we're gonna move over into the main part of the gym. <laughs> like I have multiple gyms here. <laughs> we're gonna move over into the gym and we're gonna load up the easy bar and do some uh, reverse grip uh, easy bar bent rows. And then to uh, end off the day, the session, we're gonna do some high cable double D handle uh, pull downs. Um, so, uh, right now I got all my weights in here. I'm loaded up and ready to go. And uh, let's get started on some bent over rows and we'll have a good time and spend some quality time together, guys. Let's get her done. Let me get down here for this little bitty camera. Right now we got 135 going on, all right? So let's do some warm-up sets of some 135. Now that's my first set, so I'm kind of getting warmed up and it's going to take me a couple sets to get warmed up and to lock my brain into what I'm wanting to do and how I'm wanting to move. So that's what's good about warm-up sets. That's kind of what they're for. We'll see you in the next one. All right, I got two main warm-up sets done with 135. Let's take a look at what I'm ready to do eventually. We got some serious weight in here, guys. This is going to be a serious training session. Let's add some weight. Shall we? 185. Two zero five. One. Whoop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You might have seen me get off balance there just for a second. A lot of time I put my a lot of weight on my heels. Sometimes it might get me off balance. Stick around. All right, we got 225 on the bar. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
Let's see. All right, we're on to the next one, 275. 45s, 25, 45 bar. Now, you just see me do a 275 for only four reps. Before that, I got 225 for 10 reps. That kind of disappoints me. So what I'm gonna do, of course, this is my, this is my day where I go up heavy and I do like a one rep, one rep max. Uh, and then I'm gonna go down. So I will go back down to 275 and I will get more than four reps. Right now we're heading back up. Let's keep going up guys. All right, Rooney, we have 295 on the bar. I'm looking for two reps, two reps. Of course, at this point, I'm still going strapless, no straps guys. Uh, but that don't mean that we won't utilize some straps in a minute. So let's get this 295 for at least two reps. Again, we got 295 for two reps like I wanted. They're not as pretty a rip as you're going to get with 135. That's the name of the game. You got to put on the weight, to put on the size, to put on the strength, to be able to one day be able to handle 295 like you would 135. So as long as you keep your form decent, you re you know, you're paying attention to your back and everything, you're good to go. Just uh, make sure you got that mind muscle connection and in your listening to, to your body, okay? So we're fixing to go up to 315, one rep. Then I'm gonna do another set with 315 with straps on and try to get one or two reps. And then we'll go from there, guys. Stick around. Two, three, and the bar. 315, no straps. All right, guys, let's do this. Alright, if you remember, I told you that I was going to go back down to 275, so I'm doing that. And uh, this time it's about, let's get in uh, a few more reps, so I'm going to keep the straps on, I'm going to use them on the 275, and see if we can get maybe 6 reps, okay? So let's do this guys. Alright guys, so we're done with those, uh, with really my heavy portion of the exercise today, of the routine. Uh, I'm in here in my gym, uh, in the other wing. I got the easy bar loaded up with a 45 on each side. And of course the bar is roughly 15 pounds. So as you see, I mix things up. I like to, a lot of times, 
do something heavy and then do something not quite as heavy. Uh, with these easy bar bent rows, I'm not gonna go quite as heavy as you just seen. Number one, I don't wanna put my back through that again because uh, that is a very precarious, or it, it compromises my back whenever I do bent rows. I mean, anything that you do in general, picking up this bottle of water can compromise a bad back. But uh, I don't wanna press my luck and I know I know how to read myself sometimes, and sometimes I don't listen, but I'm gonna listen today. So uh, my first exercise went well. I feel good about it. Again, uh, the range of motion and things are going to vary. Uh, it don't matter what you do. If you're picking up 250 pounds to 315 pounds or more, you're gonna build muscle and you're gonna build strength. Now, you're not, you might not be doing the movement 110% exact by the book, but you're still doing the movement and you're doing movements to get into that movement by picking the weight up and getting into position. So keeping your body stressed under that much weight, eventually over time builds up some strength and some size and some tolerance to that type of weight. So you just gotta know how to read yourself. You gotta follow whatever plan that you wanna follow that sounds right for you. And uh, that's kind of what I do. So uh, sorry for the long uh, intermission here, but I'm gonna take me some water and uh, get mentally prepared for these. Again, I'm not gonna go as heavy with these because I wanna make sure I uh, get a, a little bit better range of motion. And also I'm doing reverse grip, uh, supinated or whatever you wanna call it. There's a name for the grip. I'm gonna be holding it like so. And I don't want to go quite as heavy on those again because there have been times and instances where people have actually ripped their bicep from going too heavy by doing an underhand uh, row. So I kind of take precaution whenever I do these. So let me finish up some water uh, and we'll get back to the working out guys. Hang in there and be awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got 175 now. Again, I am using reverse grip. Two hundred pounds with two zero five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
All right, guys, and just like that, we're on to our next exercise, which is gonna be the high cable pull down with the double D handle. You'll see in the video if you don't know what that is. Uh, and I do push my bench up to my cable machine so I can sit on my bench and get away a little bit. Uh, that helps. And if you're ever in that kind of situation, just uh, try to keep that in mind. You can actually use your bench or a stool or something that you have to get back a little ways uh, from your machines. So uh, we're just gonna do five sets. I'm not gonna go super heavy. Right now I have a 35 on each side, which is 70 pounds. And uh, we're gonna go for that. And uh, see how that feels. Because I haven't done these enough to even know where I need to start. I've only done these a couple of times, and so you can't lose track. But let's get these done, guys, because I'm ready to be done and relax. side again so now we got 140 pounds Michael you went up awful quick yeah well I'm already warmed up so you can go up film the rest of these pull downs uh, you've seen two sets now you know what they are I hope you enjoyed the back workout and I hope you see the intensity and the effort that I put into my workouts and uh, I try to put it on video so you can kind of see it um, it's not always easy to do you know when you're sitting here filming by yourself trying to make things interesting and uh, amazing by yourself is sometimes not easy so anyway, uh, I did lots of sets. I went up heavy, I went lighter, I did more reps, I did less reps, all this kind of stuff. And that's what's good to do in your workout, mix things up. Don't make it just a heavy day or just a light day, unless you want to. But mixing things up in your workout kind of gives you the best of both worlds. You know how sometimes you go light and you leave out of your workout going, eh, you know, I worked out, I felt okay and all, but gosh darn it. Well, if you go ahead and throw some heavy in there, then it, you, you kind of leave out of the session feeling pretty good. So I will say this, and this is what I've always thought uh, ever since I ever uh, did the movements. You have your straight bar, overhand, uh, typical bent row, and then you have underhanded. In my opinion, and this is how it feels with my body, the underhand, especially with the easy bar, the underhand bent row feels so much better uh, to the back. It feels like it really works out the back. And I don't know why that's not pushed more into mainstream uh, instead of just using the straight bar and the overhead uh, overhand grip. Uh, I realize that the underhand grip is a little bit more dangerous at times. But that's if you go stupid heavy. I mean, you've seen, I just broke 200 pounds, like 205. And the amount of work that I felt in my back is really a lot more than I feel with straight bar. So I recommend doing that. I really do. If you've not done them, do them. Um, as far as straps go, we talked about straps, I think, a little bit. Uh, of course, I did the 315 one rep without the straps, and then I did another set with straps. The thing about straps is they're a tool and you want to utilize them when you need to uh, in your workout. Uh, 
unless you're doing some kind of strongman competition where your grip is 100% of the equation, where, you know, the straps are not allowed, then don't be scared to use some straps. Uh, they come in handy to help you uh, get stronger, put on size, and uh, the overall movement uh, of, the, of the weight, you're actually getting to feel a little bit better when you want to do a little bit heavier weight. So utilize those carefully into your routine as well. Uh, you know, if you can do the weight without them, great. If not, go ahead and throw some straps on, get you a few reps, and then, you know, even if you got to do like a single uh, without the straps, that's great because you're still moving weight and you're still working on your grip strength. So again, utilize different things into your workout. Don't be scared to do that. Um, anything else? Let me think, guys. What else? Pew. Anyway, uh, and again, as far as form goes, you've seen how I get whenever I go up really heavy with the bent rows. It's not always pretty. It's not always picturesque. Uh, again, sometimes you gotta work around those things in order to get a little stronger, to put the size on. You're still moving weight. Regardless if you do the movement exactly correct or not, you're still moving some weight. And whenever you're moving heavy weight, it's gonna make a difference. So don't be scared to kind of get out of form a little bit. That don't mean act all janky and stupid with weights like you see people do. Be in control, okay? There's a difference, okay? Be in control of the weight, make sure you know your body, and uh, make sure you know your limitations. I know my limitations sometimes, and then sometimes I don't. I'm only 50, maybe I'll learn in the next 10 or 20 years. Anyway guys, this video's went on long enough. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video on my long rambling zone. I got my supper going whilst I was working out. Remember to do that guys, it, it uh, helps out quite a lot. I got some pink salmon in there going. I got Brussels sprouts going. I got a sweet potato all nice and done in the air fryer. So I'm ready to go. Guys, I love you. Have a good day, good weekend. Don't forget tomorrow is my deadlift day slash light bicep day. I'm gonna break a PR tomorrow. Yes, I can feel it. I was thinking about it Thursday night while I was sleeping. As I laid down, I thought about it. I'm gonna go in there Saturday and I'm gonna break a PR. That's when you know you're serious when you're thinking about it two days early. So anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff if you got this far in the video. To the Body Beatdown, me, Michael, your long-winded, crazy, insane host. I love you, have a good weekend. Don't forget, guys, get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it.